So for today, we're going to be looking at the Titans. More specifically, we're going to be looking at the Dark Age pieces for the Titans. So if you guys don't know, this is your first video. We usually make a review for the armor and then go through all of my shaders, which both of those videos are right here. And then we look at the individual pieces for the Hunters, Titans, and Warlocks. Hunters, you already have yours. It's right here. So definitely check those videos out. I'm actually pretty proud of these because uh, there are a lot of work to do, but it's also like kind of flexing my creative muscle because I make sets. I make a lot of sets guys like realistically uh we got what like f how many how many armors did we get this season we got the iron banner armor which is two for me well two for a lot of people which means i'm gonna be making reviews for those the witcher gear the worm guard stuff the dark age stuff and then the seasonal ornament as well so all of the armors that i just listed i make five armor sets for each armor video so uh, it's a lot of work, but I really do like making these videos just because I know a lot of people really appreciate them because Sometimes uh, some armors are just really annoying to make really cool sets. So that's why I'm here So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys checking out these other videos again It would mean a lot to me if you guys checked out the other content or my other channel. That would be great And other than that, let's just get into it so to start off, we're going to be looking at the helmet, Dark Age helm, and I love this helmet. I know a lot of people have been saying that it looks like the Halo armor, which granted, I trust you. I'm not saying it doesn't. It's just I didn't grow up with with Halo. I was a PlayStation uh, fanboy back in the day. So for me, I'm like, Halo, that's cool. I wouldn't know, but pop off. For me, it reminded me more of Dead Space 3 armor design, specifically the Titan set. So... For this set, we're going to be looking at, again, the Dark Age Helm, the Lordly Homage for the Doomfang Pauldrons. I think this one looks cool with it. And then the Sunbreaker Plate, the Braytek Snow Boots, and the Tekian's Regalia Mark. I love the Braytek Snow Boots with the Tekian Regalia's Mark. I think both of them just combine really well. And then the Sunbreaker Plate looks amazing as well. So this one was more of, more like, not a tactical set, but like, I, I, honestly, I could not tell you what the theme of this one is. It's just for me, I knew that I wanted to combine it with the snow boots and then the regalia mark. I knew I wanted to combine it with those two just because those two combine really well. And then for the chest piece, I think Sunbreaker Plate is the best one for the Braytek snow boots. And then the Lordly Homage, just because I thought it, it just I thought it was just gonna look cool. And I think it's the best of the ornaments when it comes to this look. So. Let me know what you guys think about this one. I don't know if this one is my favorite just because there are some other pieces that I made for the Titans that I'm just like, yo, yo. As for the next set, we're gonna be using the Grant's Vicksburg ornament for the Axiom War Rig. If you guys don't know, I actually already made the Axiom War Rig video. It's right here, you guys can check it out. We go over how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts, and the ornament as well, and then make it uh, individual sets for that exotic and the ornament as well this is actually new i did not use this one in the video so if you guys want to check it out definitely check it out but for this one we're going to be using ring walker helmet just because i think this one looks really cool with the van uh, grants vicksburg chest piece for the arms and the boots we're using dark age gauntlets and dark age sabatins just because uh i wanted to use both of them not in a, not in a way where it's like oh both of these are terrible so i'm just going to combine them into two i actually think the boots and the arms are super dope I just think that the Dark Age boots and the Dark Age arms just looked so good together. Obviously, they're from the same set, but I think they looked really good with the Grants Vicksburg. So that's why I was like, I want to combine it with that. And then the TM Cogborn custom mark. I think this mark is amazing when you want to go for a tactical look. And I think this looks amazing. I combine it with Arctic Dreamscape just because I wanted that snowy look. And I think I really hit the nail. If I were to change anything, I would probably maybe have picked a helmet that gives off more of a snow vibe. So with that being said, I probably should have combined it with the Eidolon Pursuant Helm just because I feel like that would have been a little bit better. But I still like this set a lot. There's other helmets that you can definitely use. Like I said, Eidolon Pursuant is a really good choice. But there's other ones like, for example, the Exodus Down Helm the hardened basilisk helm if you have it and then deep explorer helm which i think would be the coolest one so there's a lot of things you could do but for me i just wanted to man I, now that i look at it it, it does look really cool let me know what you, let me know what you guys think as for the next set i'm gonna be real with you guys I, I i don't even know where my head was going for this one it's probably the fact that the the ursus emeritus ornament for the ursa furiosas 
has fur, white fur specifically, and the Dark Age chest rig has fur on the collar. So I was like, I'll, maybe I kind of want to combine it with something like that, which makes sense. That's definitely something my head will go to. For the boots, Wolf Kiss Greaves is what we're using because it had, does have fur at the boots. And then Worm Guard Mark, just because I wanted that like folk kind of looking. I don't know. It's weird because like there's so many weird things happening in this set. I don't think it's bad by any means. I would just switch some things out here and there. For the helmet, Iron Mark or Iron Companion helm is what we're using just because I, I love this helmet. It's one of my favorites. So like I think the biggest thing here is just fur. Fur is the big thing here because the helmet has it, the arms have it, the chest piece has it, and the boots have it. So like at that point, I might as well have just used like another mark that has fur. There's quite a few that we do have. Uh, some of them are not the good, not that good, but some of them are pretty cool. Uh, I will say this is probably the weakest one I have, um, just because there, for me, now that I'm looking at, it, and I made this like a while ago, so for me, this just clashes a lot. Like, there's so many themes that I'm like, the helmet and the boots are like for me viking almost viking thing for the helmet helmet i don't know viking slash like european something uh boots definitely viking the mark is definitely like folk inspired almost like uh like eastern european type thing the chest piece is definitely like snow gear and then the arms are like just like magic not magical but like fantasy style so like there's just so many things happening here that I, I can't in good conscience say this is amazing but i understand where my head went with this one so let me know what you guys think about this one and then last but not least we're going to be using the dark age mark this one i'm going to be real with you guys i kind of wanted just to have something chill down to earth nothing too crazy and i think i achieved that so for the helmet tekken's regalia helm is what we're using in combination with the veritas plate and gauntlets i think those two are going to be really good with everything else for the exotic we're going to be using the abeyant leaps with the reticle lock ornament i think this ornament is amazing and then obviously dark age mark for the shader we're going to be using metro shift just because uh that was the best shader that i found honestly and i like this i like this quite a bit i think i probably no i was gonna say i probably should have switched the abeyant leaps with the second look but I, the reason I, I'm using Grant's Vicksburg is because I think it looked good with the arms and the boots. So that kind of like defeats the purpose of me doing that. Uh, so yeah, I think this looks cool. I would definitely probably try to combine the Dark Age Mark with something a little bit more fur inspired, or not fur inspired, but like snow gear inspired. You can definitely use the Krista Kreen armor set from uh, Europa. I definitely think that would probably be the best one just because that is snow gear and that probably would look better but for me i wanted to do something just kind of chill something down to earth and i think this one achieved that goal so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point again i am working on a lot of content this is the second video from all of that if you guys haven't seen the hunter video i'll show you right now this is all of the stuff that i'm working on the year two armor from destiny from uh, iron banner the year three armor from iron banner the witch the witcher armor the worm guard armor the snow guard armor which is what we're doing right now and then the uh the reviews which i still haven't done so i have a lot of content to go through guys also this is the exotic videos for the hunters specifically the six coyote for this one and then orpheus rig for this one and yeah i just have a lot of content to go through guys i'm not even kidding when i say this like these are the also the exotic ornaments for the classes i've already done all the example sets i just need to edit it and i'll be done with it this one will definitely go out just because a lot of the ornament or a lot of the example sets that i made are super dope but yeah i have a lot of stuff to go through let me know what you guys think i appreciate all of you guys coming to this point again i would appreciate you guys ch just checking out my other content i am working on a discord and a patreon i know i've been saying that but i am actually working on it the discord's almost done i just need to work on the permissions and after that i probably will start looking for people to be mods um i already have some people in mind but the patreon also is going to be a huge help just because uh it'll help with the content a lot not only that just man this this uh this year or next year is going to be really crazy for my channel just because i'm really going to be pushing just myself a lot more so i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later